I'm back again. Video three. So, um, this one I'm going to do Busy Timmy and Dumbo. So, we'll do Busy Timmy first. So, here's the tie on Busy Timmy and the uh, little charm, paperclip charm on him. And then the charm on the side is some really cool um, vintage buttons yet again and wood beads and there's a little turtle and a little dice so tried to make that you know like little boyish and then um, some really pretty blue and brown and and green uh, vintage buttons on the side on the spine and then this is cantha fabric that um, I purchased from Selena over at Amore Fabrics, and I'll link her along with everybody else in the videos. Um, I took the little pieces and stitched them together to do the spine of this book, and I love the way I love the way this one comes out. You know, I'm a little little more partial to the boy books because I have boys, um, but I you know I love them all. So this tie. Um, I was going to do the cantha on here, but I wanted some contrast. I thought it might have been, it would have been too kind of blended. So these are some pieces from, um, i got a stray muslin thing. These are some pieces from that um, fabric or quilt square that I got from Patty. And then back, this is on muslin. So that is this one and then you can see it's stitched you know several times this is only stitched like three times it wasn't quite as um, some of them are stitched four and five times but seem to hold hold better so anyway what's the tie on that one and this little guy he is so stinking cute I'm still dying saying there um, I put, um, because this book was fa is fairly old, uh, there were some, when I took the book apart, you know, sometimes it looks kind of, it's not as pretty looking in here and the holes were a little bit bigger. So I took washi tape on a lot of these just to reinforce the pages. And I put the little quilted pocket because um, somebody had written in this one pretty good and I couldn't get it off. So I did the quilted pocket out of the cantha squares on the front with the little pocket with the hearts. Um, I thought that's cute so you can put you know whatever you want to in there and then I did use the little cantha pieces as tabs and some other little fabric uh, scraps and buttons and this little guy is 1948 and he is so cute he is just this is just a really really cute book and this is this is one I got from Jessica Harris uh, her shop Again, things are just clipped in. Um, pockets. It says, you are my sunshine. I love that. Um, you know, tea dyed paper, scrapbook paper. The little um, envelope on this one is the other way. So I made a little tuck on this side of the envelope. Timmy is a big boy, and he is so stinking cute. Um, it has some other, these washi tapes came from Washi Wednesday, and I love them because they stick. Like you put them down, they stick. So you, you don't kind of, you really don't mess around with them because once they, once they stick, they're stuck. Um, some extra goodies in here. A couple of little envelopes from a Mr. Dog, or at least one in here. Um, I don't know if I mentioned these are this. I got these printables off of Etsy. Um, I know y'all seen these in some of the books I've done before. Richard Skyrie. Scrap paper, did the washi here, um, some buttons in here, and just a couple little pieces of washi in there in the middle of that signature. I did a little bird washi there because of him with the little bird. Um, this is some other little fabric. I think that's a piece of a sheet type fabric. And some buttons, pockets. Oh, squirrel. And this is the other side of that envelope. And I just put a little, this is a little um, vintage milk. Um, what do you call those little things? Milk cap. Milk bottle cap. Pocket there. 
and that just works to hold that closed. A little tuck on this side. Um, this is from an October afternoon um, collection of kids' papers that I've had for a while, and I thought he was cute with the ball, and then I actually found from another collection, which is about catching a fish that says you're a catch. I thought that was funny, though, because he had the ball. And then a little um, October afternoon card. <coughs> This is also from October afternoon. I love, love, love this paper. Another pocket uh, made from a Childcraft page. Tons and tons of stuff on. Tons of space. Another Childcraft page. Pockets in the middle with buttons and then some fun little stuff. This is a vintage train ticket, a uh, little vintage uh, flash card. Uh, these are, I think I put one of these in each one of these. Um, somebody gifted me these to this little notes home and I hadn't pulled them out and showed you, but there's one of these, I think, in, in just about all of the books. thought that was cute. And uh, this came from that... Um, that Mother Goose book that I really love that I have used just about every little bit of it, but I thought little Tommy Tittlemouse, I thought that was really cute, so I put him in here. And you could use it as a pocket somewhere, or cut it up, or however you want to use it. Some more of that craft paper. And this is the other side of that pocket, that child craft. It's like a, um, there's a poem there. A Richard Skyry envelope that I just clipped in. And this is some vintage fabric. I think that came from Phaedra. And a lot of these little tabs, on a lot of these little tabs, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but some of, a lot of them I stitched all the way around them to give it some reinforcement. Um, not all of them, but a good lot of them. Some more little things tucked in, some Dick and Jane pages, some little cards, playing cards. And this is from a Childcraft um, magazine that I got from Jessica. Jessica Rapp. Look at him, he's so cute. This little book is just too cute. <laughs> And I try to, when I do this, when I put things together, I do put a lot of thought into my color choices and how things, you know, across from the the actual illustrations and stuff so that things kind of coordinate and look, you know, have a pleasing, or pleasing to the eye. And this is a, this was from a little uh, kid's book, uh, like a, it's like got a glossy finish. I can't remember. It may be in one of the newer kind of highlight books. Put some more washi here. And then the little buttons in the middle. This little piece of quilt tab there. The other side of that um, page is a pocket. Uh, the ledger, a beautiful ledger from Renee. And I'm about out of that. I'm going to have to get some more from her. Or find some from somewhere. The bird washi. I'm getting fumbly now, y'all. Fumble fingers. Some more. Um, another Dick and Jane page stuck in that, tucked in that pocket. And then a few extra things in the back for you. And on this one, I also did some uh, on the inside. I forgot to show you this part. I did some other vintage lace on top of that muslin just to give it a little bit more um, interest there. And it went really cute with this. And I love this washi, it's like little tickets. It's like little tickets. Anyway, so that is Busy Timmy. And here is Dumbo. So Dumbo has this little this little paper clip charm on here just some little um, buttons and 
Mat it matched really well, so I put them on here. And the charm. This is really cool. I love this yellow. It almost matches that yellow perfect. Yellow and gray and like a cream color vintage button. And then the wood beads on this one. And the tie on this one is also... Um, this is a piece of quilt that I got from Jessica. And this is... Um, this is also pieces of quilt on the back and some of this is kind of where the glue where the glue did that um, but you don't really see it but like I said the whole point of this is just, you know it's scrappy scrappy but it's really really I love these colors <clears throat> so that's Dumbo or the Dumbo tie and then on the front of him he had some damage so I put um, I covered this is a new fabric that I found a while back at Big Lots. And then I put some of my handmade buttons, the star ones on here, along with some vintage buttons. And um, some ribbon here, and this is new. And then a piece of quilt and some uh, vintage buttons and one of my handmade buttons there. A little piece of quilt and some buttons here. Cause it was kind of torn up up here and there was a big old spot here. So I wanted to kind of disguise that and I thought it really turned out really cute and then the back has the back has that as well that ribbon so this little guy and when you open these up um, some of them are a little bit looser after a while it's going to loosen up more from the glue because I left that spine in there but I did not try to keep it and I don't know if this makes sense. I did not try to keep it to where it was just gonna be flat. I didn't fill this in, okay? So, but it's it's not, it's not flimsy. You know what I mean? As to where it's, I hope that makes sense. And they lay really good. They lay flat. Um, but it gives you more room because you can keep that whole, you can keep the whole book in here. Anyway, so I did the same. I had some of this ticket washi here that I added in here and then fabric and vintage buttons as the tabs. And <clears throat> this had some, some writing in here, so I kind of covered it up with washi. This particular printing is uh, 1947. Don't, I keep hitting my camera when I try to do that, y'all. I don't know if you can see that. But this one, this is a 1947 printing of this book. So again, same kind of stuff. Um, this one I had a lot more things that had like elephants and circus and tickets and things like that. Um, so there's there's quite a bit of extra, there, you know, in here that has that kind of stuff um, and the colors, <clears throat> buttons. Yeah, I put buttons in all the signatures. More of that washi. This is a little um, flip out that I stitched around so you can make it into an envelope. It's kind of a circus theme. And that came out of a, um, one of those encyclopedias that Jessica sent me. And that did too. Or no, that was the child craft book. Um, more pages stuck in here. Another one of those little really cute um, <laughs> like cereal box kind of cards that my customer sent me. And I put the washi here. This, um, some of these older ones were a little kind of shabby, so I was just trying to reinforce them, even though they're in really good shape. A ledger, and I stitched and made pockets. I stitched in, in all of these and made pockets and stuff. I hope you can see that. This one, I did not use a vintage fabric for, well, I did. This is a vintage fabric behind here. Um, but this was, this is a really cute little animal fabric and it's a double pocket. But I thought it was cute with the elephant. So you got a double pocket and then I stuck your little hearts in here. <clears throat> this is an envelope again. Put some washi on the end of that. Another pocket double pocket with the child craft book page and the um, 
craft paper. And then this is the other side of that. I used another one of the milk, milk top, vintage milk tops. And then this is a double tuck. This is a piece of a, I think this is like a piece of a placemat type of fabric. Um, I love the red and white check and a beautiful big button. <clears throat> this was another uh, piece of uh, uh, ephemera that was gifted to me. I thought he was cute. I stitched him in and made a pocket out of him. And this is just a little, this is a little tuck. <clears throat> piece of fabric on this side that I ruffled up, a piece of that quilt. And um, I don't know that you can really tuck anything on that side, but you can on this side. I just stapled it in. Another pocket with extras. The third signature. Made a pocket here with this page. <clears throat> Another pocket with an old music sheet. Just made a little tab with a little ticket. This one I had, I had so much kind of extra stuff that went with this. Um, just did more pockets and things in here. He turned out really, really cute. Um, I did stick the clown in here. I know some people don't like clowns, so if you don't like him, you can let him go. <laughs> and the other side of that is just kind of like a little tuck pocket. But it was cute. It came out of one of those little um, Puzzle Mania. It's a Puzzle Mania book. Another little pocket back here. Um, this was a little graphics fairy image. I cut him, printed him, and cut him out. I thought he was cute. And then there's some extra pieces in the back. For this one. so that's Dumbo and uh gosh I need to okay so that's video this I think I'm gonna that's all I'm gonna do in these in this one sorry so I've got four more to go so it'll be two more videos and yeah sorry this is taking me so long guys but I really want you to see you know each book and I'm trying not to just flip through it too fast but anyway I'll be back again be back with good night, little bear, and the three bears. Bye.